so if you are someone who loves coding and you are trying to and you are thinking to get a tech job or you are dreaming to work in a big tech company like google microsoft facebook etc then you must be aware of the fact that you should be really really good at one thing that is dsa but let me tell you something it is not the only thing that you should need to be a good developer a good developer should have these five skills that i am going to tell you in today's video that can help you to become a pro developer so hey guys this is rahul here and in today's video we are going to talk about five most important skills that you should have if you want to become a successful and a good developer in that tech community so without wasting our time let's go so you are a college student and you are trying to get a job and you have searched here and there about what are the things that you should learn to crack a decent job the most common answer and i would say the most important answer that you must have gotten till now that is dsa so you must be really trying hard on dsa you must be really brushing your skills right to crack a decent job but dsa is a necessary condition but not a sufficient condition for you to be a good coder so why i am telling this because what i found working in a team working in a remote startup that there are few skills that looks like really really small but are really really important as well so we are going to cover them one by one i will be telling you the names of those five skills i will be listing them but they are so so important that without them you would not be able to work even a single day so number one is git and github why git and github look you are going to get placed in a company right so in that company you would not be working alone you would be working with a team you would be working with a team of around 10 to 12 members at least i am considering you are suppose you are working in a startup and if you are working in big companies like uh, you can say tcs essential etc they are big companies uh, on the basis of their number of employees right suppose you can say google also uh, that is a product based company okay so you are working in a very very big company so you need to share your code okay you need to share your work with the other team members and you need to take their code as well so you need to have a good control over git and github you should know all the version controls you should know all the github commands there is a lot of stuff out there so you should be pretty good with git and github okay because what happened when i first time started working with my team was i was really confused in git commands and i took around two to three days to get used to it but that thing can create a very bad impression for you and if you are working so that's good to prepare yourself so try to push push your code to your github profile that will also help you to grow up your github profile as well so you can push your code to github then create branches or you can make purple request or you can contribute to open source that is a really good way to learn about github and git bucket etc that is other way and that is really good but that takes a lot of lot of time you can simply just create one or two projects and push them on github you can learn git commands over there and you can search on youtube there are a hell lot of videos out there so you can learn from there about Git and GitHub. So, tool number two, Linux. Linux is a really good operating system. It has a very low graphics. It is not that much friendly, user friendly like that of Windows. But once you get used to Linux, that is really really helpful for developers. You can test your apps. You can tap test your web apps. You can test your applications as well on your local host only. So that's a really good operation system. You can prefer anyone like Kali or any other version of Linux. But that is good that if you can switch from Windows to Linux or if you are using Mac OS, that is okay. But if you are a Windows user, then you can try to switch yourself from Windows to Linux. That will be a great help for you in the future. In initial phase, you can really struggle with that. And you will say what I am doing with that. Windows is so easy and that is so helpful as well. But in the long run, then Linux is really helpful. And if you want, then you can use Linux instead of Windows operating system. So number three, uh, that is something you know, yeah, but I just wanted to mention you should learn any code framework like nowadays React is really, really trending and Angular or any other framework, any other fancy framework that fascinates you and you think that you are interested in that and you can learn that and that will help you to cut down your work that will make your work faster and if you are someone who knows framework then it will be really helpful for the companies as well that you can build the apps for them, you can build applications for them really, really fast and if a company is working only on that framework then they will give you more preference suppose i was a react developer in my college and my the company in which i am working they were hiring for a vue.js and a quasar developer vue and react are really, really similar frameworks so my resume got a bit of preference over others and i got selected yeah so that's how it works so you should learn any good framework that you likes 
and you should continue in that so tip number four now what is you must be hearing about that is artificial intelligence so you should be knowing how to use ai to make your work faster right you should not be completely dependent on ai but you should be using ai you should be using ai tools ai extensions that can make your work look good make your work faster so that you can compete to others you can cut down your competition you can make yourself a bit better than others so you should be knowing how to use ai tools that can help you to code that can help you to help you to understand your code bases i also use few of the ai tools and i have and i have also mentioned them in one of my video and you can watch that video over here about five ai tools that i use in my everyday life and that have made my life super easy so that's how it works you should be knowing about it. So tip number five, that is not a tool or something. I just wanted to tell you, uh, I was not getting actually a fifth month. So I just tried to mention. So I thought, let me mention that you should be good at either machine learning or you can say Android development, web development, gaming, game development, etc. Why I'm saying this? Because you should be good at at least two things. Either you can say web and app or app and machine learning or game development and web development, etc. You should be master in one and you should know second one like in my college i was a bit good in ai artificial intelligence and i was we can say i was eight out of ten in web development and i was six out of ten in machine learning so that gave me an advantage during my selection time because they were looking for an all-rounder candidate that can help them in r d of ai and that can help them to develop tools as well of web development so that's how things work people looks for all-rounders and there is a bit craze of those so these were the tips that I wanted to give you and these were the things that you should be knowing if you want to be a good developer and here is a list get and get up Linux any good framework you should know how to use AI and 8 on 10 or good in a skill and you should be knowing other skill a bit about that so that was my video in short for you and I hope you liked it if yes then please don't forget to drop a like you can follow me on socials you can follow me on twitter and linkedin and I will be catching you in the next video till then goodbye